your tributes. And the first one will be by the children done by Crystal. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Our mom, Rose Angela Wito, was a woman like no other. She was funny, kind, and extremely stubborn. Our mom would sit down and listen to anything people had to say. She had time for any and everyone. Our mom taught us what it meant to love unconditionally. We will never forget times when she would cook and share. <laughs> Our mom taught us what it meant to love unconditionally. We will never forget times when she would cook and share herself out. We would get upset with her and afterwards offer her some of what we were eating. Her, res was, her response was always the same. Your belly full? Of course we lied and said yes, as that was the only way to get her to have some of what we were having. Mommy was always strict on us. And it wasn't until we get older that we started appreciating why. She knew the world is a crazy place and that she wasn't always going to be here. She wanted us to be prepared for all that we would encounter. Mom, because of your love, your selflessness, and your guidance through the years, we are prepared and we promise to make you proud of the adults we will become. We will never forget your laughter and your smiles whenever we call you grandma for the kids. We wish you had more time with your grandchildren. We wish they had the opportunity to know and experience you in the same way as we did. But even though your time with them was so short, we will forever cherish every laughter, every hug, every argument, every wise counsel, and every single kiss you place on our cheeks. We promise you, your grandchildren will know how amazing you were and how many lives you have touched. We will carry you in our hearts forever. If roses grow in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for us. Place them in our mother's arms and tell her they are from us. Tell her we love her and miss her. And when she turns to smile, Place a kiss upon her cheek and hold her for a while. Because remembering her is easy. We do it every day, but there is an ache within our hearts that will never go away. We love you, Mom. Rest well until we meet again. Okay, this was done by Petrina or Sweeney. Okay, now we... We had that one done already by Tiffany. Now we have three, number three by the sisters. Who's going to do that one? For our dear Betty, who sadly passed away so sudden and too soon, words cannot show how we all feel. We will never forget you, another angel add to heaven. Just know that we as a family over in the U. Okay, this, this is from Auntie Coral. This is not from the sisters, okay? So let me go again. For our dear niece Betty, who sadly passed away so sudden and too soon, words cannot show how we all feel. We will never forget you, another angel add to heaven. Just know that we as a family over in the UK will miss you dearly. May you rest in eternal peace. With great love, Uncle Sonny, Auntie Valerie, and Auntie Caroline. Alongside all your UK cousins, God bless. Okay. Uh, supposed to have a floral tribute, but I'm gonna look for the flowers. Anyway, the person's doing the tribute for the more. Armando 
Jerome! Pleasant good afternoon. I'm gonna do a small poem on behalf of Demi called My Mother, My Angel. Once upon a time, an angel held my hand. She wiped away my tears and helped me understand. Though time on earth is brief, there are lessons to be learned. Each precious day God gives us, another page is turned. Every chapter full of memory times of joy and tears, triumph and defeat through every passing year. She loved us unconditionally, always by our side. When no one else would listen, in her we could confide. With gentle words of wisdom, she led us on our way, down the path of righteousness if we ever did stray. She saw the light in everyone and gave without no regrets. Always from her heart, let's not forget. Angels come in many forms. For me, it was my mother. With love, I cannot say in words, there will never be another. Every day I turn a page in my heart, will ever remain. Everything she taught me as I stroll down memory lane. Thank you, God, for giving me the most precious of all treasures help me lord to keep alive her memories forever i pray that i can someday be everything she hoped i would that she's smiling down from heaven knowing she is good as we gather here today there's no ending to her story another chapter has begun full of grace and glory god called her to his heavenly home part of his great plan Although it may be hard, we all must understand. Faith is not what we hope for, things we cannot see. Heaven is promised to us if we only believe. Thank you very much. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. 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 Thank and Brother Bent is going to sing for us while we do that. Good afternoon, everyone. Mm -hmm. I have heard of a land and a far away strong. It's a beautiful home of the soul Built by Jesus and high Where we never shall die In a land where we never go We 
this evening. For those who have not yet accepted Christ, let Betty Dead be a warning that we are here today and gone tomorrow. So let us make it right while we have the opportunity. Okay, we move on to the offertory hymn. When we all get Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He'll prepare for us a place when we all get to heaven. What a day of 
less than nine. Although it's Betty's funeral service, as children of God, we can say when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. If Betty didn't make it right with her God, that she will give an account for. Praise the Lord. But I'm sure on that day, if we live for Christ, it will be rejoicing in heaven. Now we'll ask Sister Wigan to ask the blessing on the offering. Let us pray. O oh, most righteous and kindly heavenly Father, Lord, as you see, we gather here another afternoon, O oh dear God, on a sad occasion, Heavenly Father. I pray, dear God, for the offering that is collected from your children this evening, O oh dear God. I pray, Lord, that you will bless it, Lord. You will sanctify it for your further works on earth. In your blessed name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we are moving on to the sermon, and this will be done by... Pleasant good afternoon to each and every one that are here this afternoon. And this sad occasion, but it was written by Paul the Apostle. It was appointed unto man once to die. But after this death, uh, here comes uh, the judgment. And every day we are looking as we from we born from a woman that we have to die. We are looking and that as we go along. We walk with that and we talk with that. We eat with that. We sleep with that. It was appointed unto me and you. I want to speak this afternoon for a short time. The signs of the times are everywhere. As we look around, we can see that the coming of the Lord is at hand. The signs are been showing everywhere we go. In Thessalonians 5 and verse 1, where Paul said in his word, But of the time and season, brethren, I need have to write unto you. We can see the signs of the times are everywhere. As we look left, uh, as we look right, uh, the signs of God coming is at hand. Uh. It's for every man uh, to look upon themselves uh, and to draw closer to God. Uh. Tell me, said, uh, I will look unto the hill uh, from whence cometh my help. Uh. My help uh, Comment from the Lord that made the heaven and the earth. It is time for me and you to look unto God. There is no other help. There is no other one we can call upon but Jesus Christ in times like this. We need not to write to you. The word of God you need to preach. The word of God. Amen. David said, I need not to write unto you, my brethren. For if you look at every hand, the signs of the time that God coming is near at hand. Amos the prophet prophesy in Amos 11, 8 and verse 11. Behold the day cometh the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine for bread nor water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. As we look today, where, amen, the word will be going to be short. Because the church is locking down. The church has no more power. The church in serious condition. The church is the vessel of the almighty God to bring forth the word of God. 
And if the rod, the door, can be closed, how can the rod go forward to cleanse a man's heart? We can see that there is going to be a famine, not for water, not for food, but for hearing the word of God. The rod is going to run short. When you run to the church door, it will be closed. The closed door will be closed. It will be a famine. You will have water flowing. You will have food. But there is going to be a shortage for the word of God. Every man must look up unto God. For this is the time. Amen. 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 You ever see a time like this? You never see a time like this. From my born, from my woman, my mother womb. I never see a time when the church door is closing. It's for me and you to repent unto God. I behold, I shall come quickly. And my reward is with me. To pay every man according as their work shall be. God is coming. With a reward, the signs of the times are everywhere. Amen. Ezekiel prophesy in Ezekiel 7. Pastor, now, so tell me, scatter because police coming. Scatter, scatter, police coming. Scatter, police coming. All right, we are going. Amen. Cut the message, uh, and we're gonna get the body down. Ezekiel said there are going to be blood in the city. Ezekiel said when the time is near, the city is full of bloody crime. And now we can every hand, every day we listen over the news. Amen, Jamaica, his blood is flying on the street. Blood on every street of Jamaica to man to look up. Bible are fulfilling. The word of God is preaching. Every man look up for your redemption joy at night. Redemption coming. For each and every one of us to bow down, acknowledge that there is a God somewhere and somehow. Every man says, I shall come, and every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that every man, every man, every man, every man shall know that there is a God. The fool of says in the heart, there is no God. But we know that there is a God this afternoon to serve and to adore. May God bless you and keep you. I hope that you may acknowledge the word today that the signs of the times are everywhere. Thank you. Bless the Lord. The word have gone forth, and I'm sure you have heard the words. You see why everybody is running scared of the police? Because we have to be following protocols. But what if God should put in his appearance? What if they take us here? Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Pastor O. Now we'll have the eulogy by Mrs. Java Brooks Wigan cousin. The elegy for Rose Witter, a.k.a. Betty. A summer in the life of Rose Angela Witter, a.k.a. Betty. On this journey called life is what we do that matters, whether it be good or bad. On the morning of March 21, 1972, a beautiful baby girl was born to parents, Blossom Brooks and Ardy Witter, in the district of Melsom, St. Elizabeth. So beautiful a bloom she was that they named her Rose Angela Witter. 
but looking at her beauty, they then decide why not call her Betty. Betty attended the Red Bank Basic and All Age School, where she gained her formal education. She grown into a fine young miss that at the age of 17, she caught the eyes of one Michael Simit, with whom she have her first two children, Petrina and Marshall. Because of her children to help support, she had to gain employment in whatever form she could. Because she was a need free, she sought after to do domestic work in most of the household in the area. This she did with her utmost dedication. For this reason, she became mother to almost every children she came in contact with. For reasons unknown to us, Betty and Michael separated, but continued to be good friends. She then caught the eyes of one Seymour Thomas, aka Cotty or Shark, and the relationship blossomed and produced one son, Demoir. Betty may not have a real person who you could call on at any given time to help out in any situation. You could depend, you could depend on her. Betty will be deeply, deeply missed by both young and old because she was friends with each and everyone. After a brief, brief illness, Betty passed on on the 18th of February, 2021, leave us all in shock, leaving to mourn three children, Petrina, also known as Sweeney, Marshall, also known as Ebo, and Demor, also known as Demi. Two grandchildren, Zadia and Jabari, common law husband, Koti, Arshak, father, Audley, eight sisters, eight brothers, nieces, nephews, in-laws, her closest friend, Tiny, and a host of other relatives and friends. Sleep on, Betty. Sleep on and take your rest, and light perpetual shines upon you. Bless the Lord. Thank you very much for that. As it said, it's just a summary in the life of Betty. Now we'll have a prayer for the family and we'll ask Brother Bent again to come and do that for us. Silent, can you have some reverend for God? Um, I want to pray for the family this afternoon. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Righteous, eternal God, we thank you, Lord, for this afternoon. We thank you, God, for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, God, for keeping care of us, Lord God, upon this moment. I want to pray, God, for the brief family, Lord. Does that lose the last one? The loved one, Lord, we know how it is to lose a loved one. Divine God, I pray that you may comfort them. I pray, God, may them realize that you are the great comforter and there is none like you. I pray, God, that you may walk beside them, Lord. Lead them and guide them. Heavenly Father, we depend upon you, Lord, to take them through, Lord God, this brief moment, dear Father. I pray, God, that you may realize that weeping and come in joy for a moment, but joy will come in, in the morning. I pray, God, you may bless every heart that gather here. And those that don't know you are Savior and friend, I pray this afternoon that they too, Lord God, will come to know you, O oh God, as life eternal. Father, I realize what taking the place, Lord. It's first I see this history of God, this disease that locking down the very church. I pray, God, that they may help them, Lord, to realize that you're coming soon and very soon, Lord. Because, Pastor, when you see this thing, look up. Redemption right now. I pray God you may save them, Lord, for two days. Have your own signified way. Oh God, take control of the pray. Well, we fill your thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We are going to put her down just fine. Now we'll have the recession on him. We're moving on to the grave. And then we'll have the recession of him. So call bearers, please get ready. A country where no twilight shadows deepen, 
On and in there and night shall never be. Paul bearers, relatives, friends, that's what's on the paper. A city where no storm clouds ever gather. Now this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be when we get over yonder and join the throng upon the glassy sea to greet our loved ones and crown Christ forever? Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. And when at last we see the face of Jesus, before whose image other lives will flame, and when they crown him Lord of all, I'll be there. Now this is just what heaven means to me. What will it be? Continue in one 
In the midst of life, there are dead. Where we see the of the Lord. For as much as it pleased the Almighty God to take unto himself the soul of our dear sister, departed we therefore commit his body to the ground by saying dust to dust and ashes to ashes in the certain hope of the great resurrection of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ who shall change our vile body that it may be like the glorious body according to the mighty work whereby we is able to subdue all things. I heard a voice from heaven saying and to me right from henceforth Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Those shall save the spirit, for they rested from their labor. Sorry, man, you're free.
commit this body in your hand, that no evil workers may disturb this body. We pray that you may protect and guide us. We pray, God, your presence. Oh, God, you is a deliverer. You can break every trade if you can set free. Go with us now as we depart from here. Let our soul may be right with you. Yes, I mean. 
Yeah. And you're going to make a great deal. We can get down. Yes, ma'am. Tappy! No! No!